And now, a special celebration with Hal Jackson and the Sunday Classics on New York's best radio station, 107.5 WBLS New York. My name is Lena Holmes. How do you do? I'm Lou Rawls. This is Nancy Wilson. Hi, this is Joe Williams. Hi, this is Arthur Price. Hi, we're the Temptations. This is your friend, Cap Calloway. This is John Lucien. Oh, how is it? This is Gerald Austin. Hi, this is Stu Jackson, head coach of the New York Knicks. Hi, this is Sergio Dean. Hi, this is Anthony Gordini, formerly of Little Anthony. Hi, this is Lawrence Gregory Jones from Jones and Company on the New York Morning Show. This is Johnny Mathis. I'm Eddie LaVert. And I'm Sammy Strain. And we're, we're the OJs. I'm Joe Stample. Hi, this is Hi, this is the Burger Man. Hi, this is Stevie Wonder. Hi, this is Dionne Warwick. Hi, we're the Barquets. Hi, this is Peebo Bryson. Hi, this is Patty LaBelle. Hi, this is George Howard. Hi, this is Marlon Jackson. Hi, I'm Ralph. Johnny, Michael, Ronnie, and Ricky. And we're a new edition. Hi. We're the boys. This is Ray Charles saying congratulations to Hal Jackson on 50, 50, 50 500 years. No, wait a minute. I think they look like 50. Oh, yeah, it's got to be a split. This is not that old. 500? Okay. 50th year in broadcasting. Show you what you want to say, okay. Sam. 500 year in broadcasting. About as long as I've been in the business. 50 years is a long time. Keep going, Hal. Make another 50. I can't believe you play, Barry. Can't believe you play, Barry. This is radio with a 9.6 in you know, it's just wonderful for six full hours. It's that, but that's the loyalty of people. Uh, you know, like you have to know. I got another year for you. 1976. Did that, uh... Really? Yeah, 76. You remember 76? Yeah. Anything about 76 in particular? I don't know. Uh, I'm just wondering. What, what, about, what about this voice here? 1976 is when I got a call and told me to come to the to Mr. Al Jackson and talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Now, does that voice sound familiar to you? That's my man. That's the Harper man. That's, That's the, the great bond. The one and only right. deep voice band, triple X, whatever you want to call it. Come down here and, and celebrate the fact that I got another opportunity to see them. I'm here because, obviously, you know why I'm here. I'm here, they said they're celebrating with you, and I'm here to celebrate with you. That's all. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this fabulous? Because you have to do my shift tonight. It's the middle of the night. It's the middle of the night right now, eh? Oh, yeah, for me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Come over here. I'm just talking to the yeah. mean machine because yeah. he's so, uh, yeah. you know, up there with it. He tricked me the other day. You know, really? This voice of James Brown. And I'm thinking I'm talking to James down in, <laughs> um, you know, down in South Carolina. Yeah. And he just burst out laughing after him. But it was so doggone good. Yeah. 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 But Charlie Brown, hey, talk to you. me. Hey, congratulations. Talk really. to me. You know how important you are as a part of And let life. me ask you one thing. I've yes, been, I've, been, I've been posing this question all week long to my audience. How can you be celebrating 50 years in broadcasting when you're only 39 years old? I That's can't right. figure it out. And you didn't finish it. 39 and holding. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> You've been Wait holding for 50 years. How many times have you <laughs> held 39? That's personal, and you will be out yeah. here in the next three minutes. <laughs> Is it done? I promise you. Triple. In this case, you know, you well, see you know, hell, I, I came over today. I got, a, I got a football game today. You see a coach of the Red Devils of Tina. Oh, I see. So, uh, Where are you playing today? We're playing at uh, the Teaneck High School today. All right. And we're playing our arch rivals and nemesis, Mount Clare. Oh. Who already beat us, by the way. <laughs> well, what time is the game? Not until about uh, 12 o'clock. Oh, so everybody's getting ready to get over there now, mm -hmm. so. But I came over to thank you, uh, personally, because uh, without you, I probably would not have been in radio today. Right. You see, it's, it's, a, it's yourself and people like yourself who made it possible for people like me to become broadcasters. 
Oh. And I just want to thank you personally because uh, as I was growing up, <laughs> here we go again. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you know, I made a point of listening to you and uh, kind of copying your style and initially until I could find myself. And I did this for many years down in the island of Bermuda. All and right. People don't know that, but I did. Uh, okay. And I was like uh, the young Hal Jackson of Bermuda. There you go. <laughs> and did it too. Yeah, I did it. Until I was talking to your wonderful mother, Marlene Butterfield, on the phone a little while ago. Yeah. 27 years Marlene's been down there. She's right. still kicking and doing great. Yeah, she's she's solid you know broadcasting. What I mean? Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I just as I said, I wanted to come by and say, hey Hal, happy 50th, and thank you. All right. We Here. Just, I thank you, sir. Just a mean machine. What about the time slots now? What time are you hitting, Berger? Uh, Burgermeister is now on from 9 to noon. Yeah, I'm doing noon to 4. Ooh, all right. But we're still going to get calls from uh, James down in North Carolina. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And all another right. 50 years, Hal. Really. All right. Congratulations, yeah. Berger. All right. Thank yeah. you, Berger. Okay, Berger. And, of course, as usual, the mean machine, Mr. Sergio Dean. That's right. Congratulations, Hal Jackson. Huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fifty years. Fifty years. But ain't, ain't nothing without you. Mm, I was me. down there, let's see now, in 1938. That would make 1939. Yeah. That would make in Washington, D.C. That's right. And that would make you sitting in a car trying to sell used cars by radio, wouldn't it? That's right. Something like that. <laughs> it's in a red bird. Let's just start up the motor. Take the microphone and say, come on down. Let me show you this car. <laughs> but that was good race. And good salesmanship. Yeah, we so love it. Uh, then I remember having a night by a 1940 Mercury in Washington, D.C. You were then there as well. I was in the military uh, over at Andrews Air Force Base. And I saw this fellow Hal Jackson. I never dreamed that once I had the opportunity to work with Hal Jackson. We're together, to buddy. Partner to Hal Jackson. All right, we're yeah, together. Little things with Hal Jackson. Thanks, Hal, from all of us in the city, everybody who works here, everybody who invests in the city. Thanks for a special thanks for me, and I'll tell you why. And when we were trying in 1960s, in the late 60s, when man said we could buy WLIB radio in 1965, it was. Yeah. And he said we could buy it, and it took us seven years from 1965 to 1972 to raise the money. But always you were there. And the only way we could get a radio station was that Hal Jackson could validate us because none of the rest of us knew anything <laughs> about radio. I knew about newspapers, I knew about the military, I knew about law, I didn't know anything about radio. And when we were trying to borrow the money each time we went somewhere, he used to drag you along and say, hey, tell her, tell her, tell her we know how to do this now. <laughs> we and did it, did. Thanks, sir. We did it. And thanks for being a continuing source of support, of strength, of leadership. Uh, because were there no Hal Jackson, there'd be no inner city broadcast. Mm -hmm. My kid is always happy. Hey. 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 Hey.